yesterday. So that means uh, starting too fast. So I just stayed in the skis. I let uh, Eric, Franzel, and um, Akito also helped a lot. Uh, and I stayed just behind them and uh, tried to rest as much as I could. And then when it uh, started accelerating, going really fast in the last kilometer, I still had some power left, so it felt good. Yeah, um, like we said earlier, you returned to the podium. Uh, that must be uh, quite a relief for you to like um, be able to take that step again, right? Yes, in individual races, I didn't come, I came back on the podium since, uh, I think it's Schonach last year. So, uh, well, in January, so it's been a long time and it feels really good to be back on the podium and uh, hope uh, that uh, it will be more the next weekends. <laughs> we'll watch out for that, for sure. Fabian, like I said, welcome back to the podium. Um, also, um, when we talked this morning uh, before the jumping event, I asked you, like, how did you sleep in the yellow bib? Now there will be some more nights in the yellow bib to come, I guess. Is that actually an added pressure to have it? Or is it just like amazing and pushes you forward? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, it's nice to have the yellow bib now. And yeah, it's, it's, it feels, feels felt great. <laughs> I can imagine that. Um, of course, we have to talk about this insane uh, last meters or a couple of hundred meters of the, of the race. Um, I have to confess, at some point I was quite certain you were going to win it, because you were going for it, and um, then it was like really tight on this last meter, so tell us a little bit what happened in the last two minutes of the race. Yeah, the last two minutes of the race was very exciting, <laughs> and Miko was so strong today, he was like a very big, fast train, and yeah, he, it was... Uh, tight at the end of the race, but yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> I can believe that. Okay, going over to Mikko, um, congratulations. Home victory is always something special, I guess. Um, so how happy are you that you managed to take it here of all places? Yeah, it feels really good. It's uh, here I took my first victory and uh, I also shared the podium with uh, you last time, Jason. I think he was second, uh, or he was, I remember. Uh, so it's nice to be back on the podium here in Lillehammer. I was at least on the top, third last year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's special. It's the place I've been training my whole life and probably have yeah, most uh, of my cross country training is on this stadium. So with the family and uh, friends, it's always special to have a victory at home. For sure. I mean, uh, looking at the, the jumping parts of the events, uh, I think my thought was, oh dear, most of the time. You still manage to ski through the field. So would you say like your cross-country shape is really at the top level right now? Ah, uh, it's uh, for sure. The jumping has not been as good as I hoped, but I've taken small steps and Getting a bit closer to the top every competition. Uh, my cross country shape is good. Uh, I had a <clears throat> not been training as much as I wished this summer. Started uh, with consistent training only from August. So hopefully I have some some more. Yeah, hopefully I can ski faster during the season. But for sure it feels good now and. Uh, it was a bit harder race today than yesterday. I was feeling better yesterday. Um, but it was uh, amazing to be able to finish first and have a good sprint finish with the win. <laughs> Last question from my side. Uh, the next venue will be Ramsa am Dachstein in Austria, uh, the weekend before Christmas. You're Mr. Ramsau. <laughs> you have been doing great things there. That's, uh, I guess, one of the places that suits you very well with the smaller hill and also the, the track, um, so um, what's your expectations coming there for the next competitions? Yeah, I, I enjoy Ramsau a lot, not only the, the venues, but also the nature and surroundings. So uh, I feel a bit home in Ramsau as well. Uh, I look forward and don't really have any more expectations and just want to continue the good work and be able to perform. Uh, it's, 
that's what makes this fun. For sure. Are there any more questions for our athletes? No, thank you very much. Then uh, see you in two weeks time in Ramsau.